It's fall, guys. It's fall. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, today I'm gonna do, so one of my subscribers asked to do a fall favorites um, video and I'm going to do that. However, I just placed a very large Ulta order and I'm pretty sure a couple of the items that I purchased in that are going to make it to that list. But because I'm waiting for that shipment to come in and then to test those products before I compile my list of fall favorites, um, I was going to go ahead and give you guys kind of a sneak peek of what I would call like a fall glam eye look um, and I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite products at the moment um, and then I'm gonna use actually to create the look um, some of my older palettes so that you guys can see me working with those as well and I know for a fact that I've never worked with them on camera so um, I'm really excited to see how it turns out but I did go ahead and just do my brows I really wasn't worried about showing you guys that or showing you guys any new products with that and then I've got my base applied as well but I stopped there because I wanted to talk about my uh, new favorite concealer. Yes, that is correct. Shape Tape has been replaced. Um, there's been a lot that have come close, but this is the only one that I've ever liked more than that. And sadly enough, it has been in my collection for a good while. I talked about it in my concealer video. It is the Julep Cushion Complexion. It has turmeric in it, and turmeric has a ton of healing properties. Um, and it also does a good job of color correcting um, discoloration, bags, and purpleness, and redness, and all the stuff that seems to appear on my skin every time um, and then like just in terms of full coverage and then blending it in it's just the best thing that I've ever used I am going to let this sit on my face for a little bit um, and then about five minutes I really do like this technique once it kind of settles into my skin then I will blend it out and I'll go ahead and do my foundation Okay, so I let the um, concealer sit on my face for a little bit and then I blended it out. I don't know if you guys can see, but it really is just so seamless. Really good amount of coverage. Um, like I said, I highly recommend it. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. Um, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. I really like this foundation. Um, it's got a similar wand to the Shape Tape concealer. It's just a little bit fatter. Um, and they've done, I think, I don't know if they still sell this one. This is like their first gen of it. Um, but I purchased a little while ago um, another version of it, like their newer version of it. And I can't remember what that one is called. That's like the, the liquid coverage or something like that. It's got a fancy name, but I really like that one as well. I feel like it is a good color for fall for my skin tone. It's kind of like a medium color. Not quite my darkest shade for when I'm tan during the summer and not quite my lightest for when I'm like ghostly pale in the middle of winter. So that's why I went ahead and uh, broke this one out of my little backup stash because I figured he would be a good one to use to show you guys for this video. And it also is just a very easy um, and workable foundation. Like I said, I normally am mixing my foundations, uh, especially with some of the less expensive brands. I like to mix those to make the perfect color and um, to make a better coverage for some that maybe are a little less coverage or some that are a little thicker. Um, I can kind of even it out. But with um, certain ones, especially nicer brands, I find that it's easier just to use the one foundation. I clamped myself with my uh, hair straightener the other day on my ear. There's like this very tiny little like hole there. But working in the restaurant industry for as long as we both have, Nikki and I, I think Nikki was the one who learned it working um, in Wilmington. If you put mustard on burns, they don't blister. Like it takes away the pain, it takes everything. And I'm assuming it's because of the white vinegar because they tell you to put white vinegar on sunburns. So I was hurting and my mom was like, she has an aloe plant. She's like, put some aloe on it. And that really didn't help. So I was like, I'm just gonna put some mustard on it. So I sat there with mustard that like congealed to my ear for 30, 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, sure enough, I wiped it off and then I put some aloe on top of it and I went to sleep that night and I woke up and it was just a little scabby and it didn't hurt anymore. And uh, it just fell off like today. That was a week ago. So I don't think it's gonna scar and I probably would have if I hadn't used mustard. So if you ever get a burn, mustard. You're welcome, fun fact of the day for you. There you go. You, you thought this was a, just a beauty channel, you're wrong. It's a life hack channel for surviving when you're on the struggle bus 150% of the time. <laughs> so I think I've uh, sufficiently beaten the foundation into my pores. Uh, I know they love it when I do that. But you know what? I am who I am. I ain't gonna stop doing it. So, uh, just love this foundation. I really do. It's just a very nice full coverage. It seems to work really well with the Julep one because the Julep one, honestly, I think the Julep concealer can work with anything just because it is so seamless in terms of blending and um, skin matching. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my, I don't, 
I say Ofra. It's probably Ofra because there's only one F. I'm going to call it Ofra. If somebody wants to correct me on it, you can. I just have been saying it like that for so long. and I keep seeing different things. So my Ofra banana setting powder. Um, picked this up during 21 Days of Beauty last year. And I really, really like it. Um, banana powders, I think a lot of times if they're too yellow or they're a little bit like cheaper in terms of um, the company making it, then it kind of makes you look discolored. But I have yet to have an issue with this one. I'm going to actually use the NYX Contour Stick. I really was very surprised at how much I enjoyed using it. Um, it wasn't really hard to use. And you guys know I'm not a huge fan of cream contours. But it just, it blended out really well. And I like the way my foundation looked that, or my, con my contour, whatever this is, looked that day. So I'm just going to do like a touch of it. You guys uh, probably are aware by now that I don't do a whole lot of contour normally. Just a little bit on my cheekbones. I'm just going to spray a little bit of my Mario Badascu Rose Water and get it nice and soft and uh, blend it out. <laughs> I just really, I'm so shocked at how much I like this contour stick. I really, I've, I'm not a, a fan of them normally and I really am very impressed with it. So you can see it's pretty seamless as well. There's not a lot of harsh lines, which I find like even sometimes when I'm using my milk chocolate um, from Too Faced, the bronzer that I often use as my contour, I feel like there's still like a really harsh line where I just have trouble blending it out. And this is just not that at all. So really, really like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on. Now that this is setting, we're gonna let this set for a minute. Um, we're gonna move on to blush. This is a blush. I think I got it in my BoxyCharm. I'm not positive. It either came from BoxyCharm or Ipsy, but it's so big, I'm thinking it's Boxy. So this is from Note. It's the shade Desert Rose. It is a really beautiful orangey shade, like pinky orange shade, pinky peachy orange shade. Um, so that's what it looks like. And um, I had it in my main makeup bag for a good while and I wound up using it so much that I was like, I gotta incorporate some other blushes. So I took them out. Um, but I pulled them out for this video because I feel like for a fall aesthetic, it's a really, really perfect shade. If you guys can see how like golden orange it really is. It's very, very pretty. And it's really easy to apply as well. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. It's the ultimate glow glow kit. And they have a lot of nice, really like coppery colors in this one, which once again, going with the gold aesthetic, I think it's gonna work nicely. I'm gonna go in with amber gold. It's a little bit orangier than like gold gold. And it's just really pretty. It's just, I just love shimmer so much. God, I love glitter. I wish I sparkled all the time. Like just naturally. I wish I just like, I wish I just, sweat glitter all the time cool all right so now that this is done on to the main part we're gonna go in with the eye look now the eye look that we're gonna do today I'm going to utilize two palettes that I've had for a good while um, one of the few things I've actually purchased from Sephora because it is Sephora exclusive um, it is the Huda Beauty uh, Warm Brown Obsession and Mauve Obsession. These little guys are like $27 each. They have a whole neon collection that they released this year. Those are what the two look like. So it gives me a good variety of golds and oranges, golds, reds, those kind of fall colors that we were looking for. I think the main source of it is probably going to come from the Warm Browns because it is more of an orangey look, um, but I wanted to have both available just in case. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in on the Warm Gold palette i'm gonna go in with the top like orangey brown color that's in the very middle i'm just gonna get a little bit on a nice poofy brush and i'm gonna do like a wide outer corner and i just think this is such a really beautiful shade for this time of year like it really just has that fall feel for me cool so now i'm gonna go in with a more tapered blending brush. And I'm going to go with the orange shades that's directly next to that same um, kind of red-brown color that we just used. And I'm just gonna do right ha. Um, under that shade that we just used, there is like a nice kind of blending shade. It's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it, but it is almost white. So I'd call it like a yellow off-white. And we're just gonna do that up to the brow bone. Okay, right, now I'm gonna do a quick cut crease and put a little bit of glitter in there. And then we're gonna do some cat eyes because I'm feeling adventurous today. And uh, we'll see how it winds up looking. Of course, I'm using my creaseless shape tape. I feel like the brush for this one is the best for cut creases. So pretty much that's all I use it for. I'm gonna go under the um, 
lower lash line and get a little bit of color in there and blend that out. And then we're gonna pick a glitter shade. And then I'm gonna do some cat eyes. And for the lower lash line, I'm literally just taking my brush and dabbing it into both the the original red brown and then the uh, the second darker shade and making a little mix of those. So I think I honestly we haven't used the the red at all. We have not used the mauve at all. Oops. Um, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go in with the gold color that is on the. Um, the warm brown obsessions palette because uh yeah i think it's gonna work best with this particular eye look so we're gonna go in with that i'm actually gonna do something i don't normally do i'm gonna use my finger to apply it because i think it's gonna make it a little bit more pigmented oh, i was right <gasps> guys i was right i used my brain for a smart thing can you guys see how like it's beautiful. I feel like this is also, this shade at least, is also a really good option for the Christmas season when you're looking for glitter and New Year's, everything sparkly. I'm very excited for that this year with having the YouTube channel. Last year we actually were on a cruise for Christmas, so um, we had a, an amazing time and now I'm pretty sure we're gonna get married on a cruise because I'm so obsessed with cruising. But that being said, with the YouTube channel now and being home for Christmas this year, I'm just really excited to be able to create a lot of really good looks and do like a lot of really cool like giveaway stuff. So I'm like, super excited for Christmas. Not as excited as I am for Halloween because you know, Halloween is actually my life. Now, off camera, I'm going to do some cat eyes because I don't want you guys to see me struggle for 15 minutes trying to make my cat eyes look nice. Then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But for the cat eyes, what I'm going to be using are some of my favorite um, eyeliners right now. I'm gonna use a medley of them because I feel like if you have multiple ways of applying it, it makes it a little bit easier to make it seamless. Um, so I've got Butter London Glazed uh, Liquid Eyeliner. And then I have two eyeliner pens, one from Laura Geller, the calligraphy one, and one from Ico, the skinny liquid eyeliner. And then I've got just a good old fashioned eyeliner pencil, the kind you gotta sharpen. Um, it's in uh, black and it's from Ofra, so Ofra, whatever, so. All right. All right, I did it, I did it. They're uh, not 100%, but they're pretty close. I have been really working hard to get better at winged eyeliner, um, I'm not great still, but I can do it a lot faster and I uh, have had very few mental breakdowns because I'm just kind of like, whatever happens, happens. I think after this, I'm going to do some mascara and some lips and then we're gonna call it a day and we're going to have a really nice, um, not too out there, but still pretty glam fall eye look. All right, and that's the final look. That's all she wrote, folks. Um, hope you guys liked the video. I really had a lot of fun doing this. I was using products that I know and I like. Um, it's not like when I do the first impressions where I'm kind of like, ooh, I may hate this. Um, so yeah, it was a lot more relaxed, I think, just because I know what I was working, I knew what I was working with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed to our page, please do so. Hit the notification bell so that you see every time we upload a video. We try and get at least five up a week. Sometimes it's a little bit closer to four, but um, we're normally pretty consistent about posting at least four or five a week. Please, please, please go and subscribe subscribe and uh yeah other than that thank you for watching have a wonderful day and i hope you stay girly with a dark twist